Hello and welcome to Wrestle News 365 here on YouTube. I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. And today we're going to talk a little bit about what happened on Monday Night Raw last night, specifically AJ Styles and The Undertaker. Now, we all knew that the WrestleMania match between AJ Styles and The Undertaker was happening. It had been reported uh, a couple of months ago at this point that The Undertaker was going to be facing AJ Styles at WrestleMania. And then we've seen over the course of the last few weeks, whether it be at Super Showdown or Elimination Chamber or last night on Raw, that this match is definitely happening. And AJ Styles almost made it official last night in challenging The Undertaker. He cut, he being AJ Styles, pronouns pal, a phenomenal, see what I did there, promo last night on Raw regarding his recent interactions with the Undertaker. So let's get you all up to speed about this story so far. Um, we had AJ Styles returning to action at Super Showdown in that gauntlet match for the prestigious To Wake Trophy. Incredibly prestigious, wasn't it? Uh, and then the last person in that gauntlet match after the OC had attacked Rey Mysterio was the dead man himself, The Undertaker. Taker came out, choke slammed AJ Styles, didn't even take his hat or coat off and won the prestigious Twig Trophy. Uh, and then at Elimination Chamber this past weekend, we had AJ Styles versus Alistair Black in a no disqualification match. Uh, after the OC got involved, the lights go out, the gong hits, and who appears? None other than The Undertaker himself. He attacks the OC, choke slams AJ Styles once again, leading to Alistair Black getting the victory. So last night, we finally heard from AJ Styles' comment on all of this. He challenged The Undertaker to a match at WrestleMania, which like I said, we all knew was coming at this point. Uh, but it was the way he did it last night, which made the promo so great. It wasn't the fact that, uh, oh, we're going to have AJ Styles versus The Undertaker. That sort of hype uh, sort of went through social media, went through the WWE Universe a couple of weeks ago. It was the promo last night that set this up so great and really got me excited and got me hyped for their match at WrestleMania, which isn't always the case with an Undertaker match at WrestleMania last few years. You sort of roll your eyes to sort of go, is he still going to go in the ring? But this one I'm really looking forward to seeing. And why is that? Because the story is so great now. And that is only because of AJ Styles' promo last night. So how did AJ Styles make this feud so personal, so great, so competitive? telling well AJ Styles spoke the truth last night to be honest I mean the majority of the truth anyway not the stuff about the Undertaker's wife but he made it personal last night and so far there hasn't been a lot of story to be honest uh, but now there is a story here so previously the story that they were trying to tell is AJ Styles is calling himself the new Mr Wrestlemania talking about he could be any legend he'd be fine facing any legend even drop the undertaker by name so that was the story that i think most people thought they were going to tell oh aj styles calling himself mr Ray wrestlemania apart from Shawn michaels the real mr wrestlemania i suppose that's still competing is the undertaker considering his fabled streak the most appearances at wrestlemania all of that great stuff that was the story they were going to try and tell which was fine which was fine, uh, but now they've really ramped it up an extra notch. So so what did AJ Styles say here that made it so great, in my opinion? Well, AJ Styles talked about that The Undertaker ruined his perfect retirement at WrestleMania 33. He talked about how The Undertaker lost to Roman Reigns, which, of course, got a boo from the crowd, got a boo from me, because I still don't think... Uh, well, it, look, at the time, we all thought The Undertaker was retiring. If he is going to retire or he was going to retire in that match, it makes sense to do the favours on the way out. Because he didn't retire, it makes that sort of uh, that whole match a bit redundant. But AJ Styles talked about how The Undertaker lost the match. He took off his jacket, he folded it up, put it in the ring, put his hat and his gloves in there, uh, walked up the ramp, threw up his arm, descended into the depths, and that was the perfect retirement. Uh, but he ruined it because he had to come back for more matches. And to be honest, I mean, that's the biggest shoot you're ever going to see on WWE TV. That is 100% true. OK, um, The Undertaker did ruin. That was a perfect retirement. Social media was buzzing off that retirement because it was great. It was great. And um, I think at this point, I mean, how many times have we seen The Undertaker take off his gloves or his hat or whatever and leave it in the ring? I think we've seen it a couple of times at this point. But um, it was the perfect retirement. And a lot of people were saying that that was the perfect retirement and he shouldn't have come back. Uh, AJ Styles even said in his promo that, to be honest, he probably should have retired after he, uh, the streak was broken by Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. Again, that's the biggest shoot you're ever going to see on WWE TV because that's 100% true. He could have easily retired there and it would have been fine, but he had to keep coming back. Now, I'm not sure if that's necessarily The Undertaker or if that's Vince McMahon. I would assume it's probably a hybrid of both as to why he keeps coming back. Uh, you can't turn down that big WrestleMania payday and you know, we see it all the time with professional wrestlers, don't we? Don't we? It's, it's difficult for them to say no and it's difficult for them to step out of the spotlight 
And uh, I'm not necessarily sure it's a spotlight when it comes to The Undertaker. I think it's just the roar of the crowd, his love of the business, isn't it? But AJ Styles talked about that he ruined his perfect retirement. So that's a big shoot. That's a big shoot. So that was cool. But then it gets even more personal. He says that um, he doesn't refer to The Undertaker as The Undertaker. He then calls The Undertaker Mark Calloway, his real name. And he breaks kayfabe. He says, I'm breaking the fourth wall here, guys. The Undertaker's married to Michelle McCall, who plays The Undertaker like a fiddle which is uh, pretty um, on the nose if you look at the recent... Uh, there was a story last week, wasn't there? It was in, It's International Women's Month or something like that, and uh, they left Michelle McCall off of the list on WWE.com. Uh, she complained on social media, and then suddenly they went, oh, we've got to add some new names in, Michelle McCall, Paul Nakano, uh, and then you had The Undertaker put out a tweet saying, oh, too little, too late, uh, something like that. And people have speculated that that wasn't even The Undertaker tweeting, that was Michelle McCall tweeted on his account or something like that, so... To say AJ Styles to say that she's plays him like a fiddle and uh, she's manipulating him and she's enabling him and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty pretty relevant with all that sort of stuff on there. I mean, I won't get into the AJ Styles, uh, the AJ Styles, the Michelle McCall. If she did tweet on his account, that's uh, it's not even really a story. But um, it was quite funny to see them playing off of that already. Um, AJ Styles also went on to say that, <laughs> which is pretty pretty scary to be honest. He says, uh, "I'm going to help you die." in this ring which i mean some people i mean uh, how many times over the last few years definitely have we seen the undertaker collapse after the match i remember obviously at wrestlemania 30 he got the really bad concussion he collapsed as soon as he made it backstage uh, i remember at uh, SummerSlam in 2015 with brock lesnar um as he's walking back he literally collapses so for aj styles to say look i'm gonna help you die in this ring people <laughs> people probably heard that and took a step back and gone okay let's settle this down a little bit because um you know, sometimes you see the Undertaker heavily breathing in his recent matches, and you go, "Okay, he actually might." So let's let's not throw that out there. But it, again, it made it personal. It was great. Um, and then AJ Styles uh, continues with this unbelievable promo. He says, "Undertaker, your wife is going to run you into the ground, and I'm going to help her," which was a great line, a great line. And he he talks about that. He doesn't see the phenom or the dead man anymore. And, you know, 10 years ago, he would be hesitant to call out The Undertaker. But now he's not afraid of him anymore. He doesn't see The Undertaker. He sees a broken down old man called Mark Calloway. Um, and he broke kayfabe and he talked about uh, The Undertaker and his family, his wife, his children. And this whole promo was so fascinating and so compelling to watch because he humanized The Undertaker, which doesn't happen. I mean, you, you, the kayfabe that, around, that is around The Undertaker is, is legendary, really. I mean, until very, very recently, he doesn't, didn't do interviews, didn't really do public appearances or anything like that because his kayfabe was so entrenched in the character. You never saw Mark Calloway. You only saw The Undertaker. So for them to break kayfabe and talk about Undertaker and his family and his wife, he humanized him. And like I said, that doesn't happen now. Uh, John Cena sort of referenced it a few years ago when they had their WrestleMania feud, which was obviously just John Cena talking about The Undertaker. Uh, but this whole humanising The Undertaker and breaking the kayfabe doesn't happen. And that's what really took or was taken this feud to the next level, in my opinion. AJ Styles has taken this feud to the next level. OK, which and to be honest, it makes sense. It really does make sense with The Undertaker's advancing age. I think he's, what, 55 now or something around that age. It makes sense for AJ Styles to pick up the mystique of The Undertaker or lack of the mystique of The Undertaker at this point in 2020. Because let's be honest, the mystique of The Undertaker in 2010 or whenever, it's just not there like it was uh, or like it, is, like it isn't now. You know, Undertaker in 2020, of course, he's legendary. He will always be what he's done in this business and, the, and in the WWE specifically is amazing and it will not be replicated. But the mystique of the character just isn't there anymore it isn't i mean kayfabe is is dead um and that, that almost includes the undertaker at this point so it makes sense from a story point of view for aj stars to pick at that mystique because it's just not there um and also when you think of the match from a mechanical point of view aj styles making this issue with the undertaker personal also allows for the match to become a bit more brawl like and less of a scientific match which is i think really important to the undertaker at this point because it allows uh, the Undertaker to work around any issues physically that he has. If it's just a brawl, you can work around that. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors that come to a brawl, uh, come into that brawl type match. So that can, I think, really take this match from, uh, you know, um, uh, an average match to a great match because 
you don't have to do the scientific wrestling that maybe the Undertaker can't do at this point. You can pull off a brawl, absolutely, absolutely. Undertaker's one of the best brawlers out there with his uh, right hands and all that sort of stuff. So I think that making this issue personal really does help the match quite a lot at WrestleMania. So I think that's really important as well. Now, now that AJ Styles has made this uh, feud personal and he spoke about facing uh, an old man called Mark Calloway and not seeing him as the Undertaker anymore. Perhaps, perhaps. Now, this is just an idea from my point of view. I don't I don't have any, any, any insider information on this, but perhaps he isn't feuding with the Undertaker at this point. He's he's not he's no longer feuding with the Phenom. He's feuding with Mark Calloway. So perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps we don't get AJ Styles versus the dead man, the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Perhaps we get AJ Styles versus the American badass Undertaker at WrestleMania, which would be, I mean, absolutely awesome. And the story is there for them to tell that now, um, because he's like I said, he's picked up the mystique of the Undertaker. If anything, he's just rubbed that mystique completely away. He's feuding with Mark Calloway now. And the American badass was a character that was essentially... In the in the two thousands, when Taker felt he needed to reinvent himself in the Attitude Era, he needed to become more real uh, and less, you know, hokey and kayfabe and all that. The American Badass might as well have been called Mark Calloway because that's who he was. It was just him being him. So if AJ Styles feuded with Mark Calloway, I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it, for the American bad- Badass version of the Undertaker to show up, and it would be absolutely awesome. Now, do I think we will see that? I don't think we will. I, I don't because I just don't think WWE would be willing to, to to risk it at this point. I don't think they see any any reason to. The Undertaker gimmick is there's no need to change it at the moment. I don't think they think so. I think it's unlikely, but I think I, I think that maybe there's a chance. I'm sure someone should discuss it. Um, and I think in terms of the match at WrestleMania now, I've, I've always thought this regardless of the, the story that they were trying to tell. I really do think that AJ Styles can pull off one more great WrestleMania with a match with The Undertaker. If anyone can do it, it's AJ Styles. So I'm absolutely positive of that. Now, will it be the classic Undertaker WrestleMania match? I don't know. Only time will tell when the match happens. But I really think AJ Styles has the potential to do it. I really do. And when it comes to the American badass version or Big Evil or whatever you want to call it, 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 it would be nice to see The Undertaker do that character one more time. I've said for quite a while now that I I really do think this is The Undertaker's last year in ring in WWE. And the reason for that being that I don't think he'll retire at WrestleMania. I've consistently said that I think he'll retire at Survivor Series this year. And the reason why is uh, Survivor Series this year, it's 30 years since he made his WWE debut. So what way to go out? Uh, then Survivor Series on the you know the 30th anniversary of you, the debut of the Undertaker character um, for him to retire then I think that would be perfect I really do um, so if this is the Undertaker's last year it would be really really nice wouldn't it to see the Undertaker do the American Badass character one more time and if if it is his last year um, be Mark Calloway don't be the Undertaker this is personal now the Undertaker is a character everyone knows it's a character it's all about mind games and all that sort of stuff they talk about that on commentary all the time the Undertaker the king of mind games uh, his entrance his persona all that stuff all the smoke and mirrors but AJ Styles has made this personal he's feuding with Mark Calloway not the Undertaker so maybe the Undertaker should be Mark Calloway one more time for this uh, last Wrestlemania appearance and We've seen Mark Calloway a lot more often recently. You know, you look at the Broken Skull sessions with Steve Austin. You see a lot more interviews with him on YouTube and in media of him being Mark Calloway at this point. So why not? Why not? Um, The story makes sense for him to be the American badass. Um, It's different which is which is a, a big plus for me when it comes to WWE television nowadays. You know, they don't do a lot of different. Uh, and it's interesting. It would be really interesting. Now, they announced also on Raw that the contract signing between them both for their match at WrestleMania is happening next week. And to be honest, I'm about 90, 95, 90 to 95% certain that I expect the dead man to appear and not the American Badass or Big Evil or Mark Calloway or anything like that. But... Who knows? Who knows? I think this is the best opportunity they've ever had to bring it back since he turned into the dead man in uh, or re- oh, reincarnated himself once again in back into the dead man in uh, when was it? 2004 uh, time, 2005, 2004, whatever, t- whenever it was. Um, so I think it's the first time in about 15 years that they've had a really good opportunity to pull, up, pull out that character one more time. Um, again, I, I don't think they will. 
because you, we've heard these stories over the years that Vincent Mann really isn't a fan of that character. He loves the mystique of uh, the Fiend Army. He, he loves that character because it was an invention of his, of his own. And Mark Calloway, the, you know, the American badass, was a was not a real invention that Vincent Mann did. So I doubt Vincent Mann would want to bring it back. But who knows? Maybe the Undertaker could request it. Maybe someone else could say, "Look, maybe Paul Heyman himself is saying, look, this is the best opportunity. It's different." And the Undertaker's the king of reinvention. We talk about Chris Jericho and others reinventing themselves and evolving. Uh, Undertaker's not scared to take a risk. He really is not scared to take a risk. And at this point in his career, he's got nothing to lose. And uh, I think the crowd would like to see it. I know social media would. And I know that's only maybe like one tenth of the real audience that watches WWE TV. But, But again, who knows? I think it would be, I think, like I said, I think this is the best opportunity they've had in a long, long time to bring that character back. And I think in 2020, like I said, with the mystique of The Undertaker, it isn't what it was. Kayfabe is dead. Um... I think it's their best shot and uh, I think it would work. I really do. I saw someone reply to me last night go, well, not a lot of people know who that character is. Well, that's just bullshit. That is bullshit. That character was from, what, 2000 to 2005. 2000 arguably had the highest ratings in uh, ever for WWE in, in that in that portion of the Attitude Era. So, of course, a lot of people know who that character is, especially the casual fans that maybe don't view anymore. And you've got the WWE Network and you've got all of that stuff. People, if he walked out as Mark Calloway in, instead of dressed up as The Undertaker, people would know exactly who that is. No one's going to look at the TV screen and go, who's that? I thought The Undertaker was going to show up. Of course they're going to know. Of course they're going to know. And it'd be great to see Undertaker come out one more time to roll in by Limp Biscuit on that motorcycle. I mean, it would be cool. It would be cool and it would be different and it'd be interesting and it would get people talking, which I think was great. But like I said, I don't think they will. Like I said, Vincent Mann isn't a fan of that uh, American badass version of the character. The appearances we've seen so far, The Undertaker in this feud at Super Showdown, at Elimination Chamber. It's been the classic Undertaker, the gong, um, the dyed black hair, all of that stuff, the eyeliner, all of that stuff. So I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't accept it, but hey AJ Styles has made this personal so who knows it would be nice to see the American badass come back uh, and cut an awesome old school promo like he used to you look back on some of those old American badass promos he used to cut um, used to they, they were real promos they weren't just about saying rest in peace with a real low voice and all of that sort of stuff it was they were different and um, I, if you haven't seen it before if you're relatively new to WWE and you haven't seen that character before go on YouTube go on the WWE Network have a look and look at those promos because they were great some of those promos are great you see here like the Houston or the Texan um, accent of the under of Mark Calloway come through as well so yeah, definitely go and have a look it would it would definitely be fun to see Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.